Launching in five, four, three, two, one. Drones away. We think that we're offering something that has never been done quite this way before. When we heard about drone light shows, we thought it was an incredible way to integrate music into our storytelling. And so what a better way than to put imagery into the sky in a way most people haven't seen before using drones. We met the Intel Drone Light Show group and we started this almost a year ago working on this show and together I think we've created something very special. The concept for an Intel Drone Light Show begins with the idea. Our friends at Dollywood had some thoughts, some ideas, and they sat with our team of animators and together they collaboratively came up with what the animations would look like and throughout the balance of the process turned what was just an idea in the mind, put pencil to paper, and then turn it into the incredible thing that you're seeing today. Behind the scenes, you're gonna see an airfield. You're seeing bases where the drones sit and this is how they are charged. Every base has six drones on it. These drones can only run around five or six minutes and they have to come back to base. This is something that was designed by the engineers at Intel to not only work hand in hand with the animation software, but then to also be able to hand wind tolerance, to be able to have GPS tracking as part of it, to be able to have a special cage around the quadcopter for safety, and there are a whole host of other specific things that are relevant to what kind of drone is used. Wind's currently coming back at 3.0. You get to see the rigor that goes into the safety protocols around Intel's process, the thoughtfulness that goes into every count. They're, they're watching for wind, they're watching for weather, they're watching for something in the, in the sky that shouldn't be there when we're having our drone show. After they set the drones out for the day, they literally go pick up each drone and look at it and inspect its propellers. They're checking all of the pieces and parts on every drone and they put it back down. And this is over 400 drones. In theory, it could go down to just one pilot with one computer with our technology to be able to push the button and watch the magic happen in the sky. What happens before the show is an extensive amount of effort with project management and pilots and coordination and inevitably animators. And, but once you're during the actual show, it's incredible to see such advanced technology come to life up in the air, up in the sky, and to watch those original ideas of animation, art, and style, and design truly come to life with, I kid you not, the click of a button. Before you know it, the sky is filled with drones. You'll see us move from kind of icon to icon, and it's just overwhelming because you're seeing a dimensional shape that's a very specific icon up in the sky and it's so fun and it's so unexpected really. Even though we've told our guests that we have drones, I don't think any of us knew how's that gonna really look and feel uh, until you see it, you just don't know. And it's fun to watch our guests see it for the very first time. What we love to do is outdo ourselves always. At the end of the day, all of this is for our guests. And so what, what is our big payoff is when we get to come in and see the smiling faces and the wows and the oh my goodness and people staring up into the sky hand in hand and arm in arm with their family and friends. That is so incredibly rewarding to us. So you can betcha we will have something that's coming next.